How much does it take to sell a home? If that's been on your mind, stay tuned because we're talking about that right now. Hi, this is Angela Duong with Coldwell Banker Chuba Realtors and MadHomeJuta.com. If this is your first time to our channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and hit the bell so that you can be notified of all of our new videos coming out on Tuesdays. Let's get started. How much does it cost to sell a home? Well, that depends. It can depend on the purchase price, whether you use an agent, and what state you're in. Uh, for this example, we are in Utah, so I'm going to give you details about what charges we have in the state of Utah. And if you are in another state, I would suggest that you go ahead and find someone local or I can help you find an agent in your area to help you go over what costs might be different from ours. But let's go ahead and give you an overview of the potential costs that you will have as a seller. One of the biggest costs to a home seller is going to be the real estate commissions. It is based on the sales price and is usually gonna be between five and 6%. Uh, this commission is split between the listing agent and the buyer's agent, so all of the agents are covered in that price. It's not going to be additional if you have another agent involved. There are many homeowners that will end up trying to sell their home for sale by owner to remove the cost of the real estate commission, but what you're going to want to make sure that you know is that if you don't get an agent involved, you've got to take the position of doing all the activities a real estate agent would be doing, um, be available for all the showings for your home buyers to come take a look at your home. You got to be able to market your home. You got to be able to negotiate your contract with your buyer, keep track and make sure that they are getting their financing and that they are approved. And you're also going to have to be able to transfer the title. So there's a lot of steps to selling your home. And, but if you can do that, that's great. You just got to make sure that you are prepared and ready. to. One thing I want to let you know, though, that in 2018, the National Association of Realtors statistics show that only 7% of homes sold for sale by owner, whereas the rest were sold by agents. Another fee that you're going to have as a home seller is going to be the title insurance policy. This is a policy that the title company provides to ensure that your home is sold free and clear with no liens against it. Um, to give you an idea on a $250,000 house, the cost for that policy is just over $1,400. So it is based depending on price and that's just kind of to give you an idea of where to start. So if it's a higher sales price, it's gonna be higher than that. If it's a lower sales price, it's gonna be lower. Um, but your agent would be able to break that down for you or a title company could give you their fee chart so that you know exactly what that's going to cost. You're also going to have title closing fees. This is going to include fees for the title company to handle the paperwork, um, recording fees, courier fees, and any other fees related to getting your loan paid off with the mortgage company. The title closing fees are approximately between two and three hundred dollars just depending on the title company and what fees are going to be involved. When I do an estimate, I usually just put 250 to be safe, and that's usually plenty. Another fee that you'll have is property taxes. Depending on how much your property taxes are will base how much you will have to pay. It's basically prorated from January 1st to the date of sale. So just depending on what time of year and how much your property taxes are each year is going to give you an idea of what your property taxes will be when it's time to close. Not really a fee per se, but if you sell your house, you do have to pay off your mortgage. Fancy that. So if you sell your house, just keep in mind that when you're working your numbers, you minus how much your home loan is. If you have a second home loan, be sure to include that. The title company will always get the payoff for you down to the penny for the day that you close. So they'll have the exact, but you can look at your statement and kind of give an, get an idea at least. Uh, it might be a little more from your statement because they will charge prorated interest as well. But I mean, if your statement is a couple months old from the last time you looked, then it may be a little less because you've paid some down a couple payments before it's time. Another thing that you need to consider is you may have costs for repairs. You may choose to do some paint work or some minor repairs before you put the home on the market. 
uh, someone will bring a home inspector in and might find out that there's a major concern that they want fixed. And so you go ahead and repair that so that you can continue with the sale of your home. So you just got to keep in mind that there could be potential for repairs. Uh, you may want to choose to also go ahead and get a pre-home inspection. It would be between three to four hundred dollars, but you could have a home inspector come in before you get your home on the market and know if there's any major repairs. And you may choose to fix those prior to a home buyer coming through because it might come up anyways on their home inspection. And if they see those repairs need to be done, they might ask for you to drop the price or get their own bids. So if you think that you might want to check in with a home inspector, I would go ahead and get a report done so that you can decide what repairs are major to you and take care of them before it ever is a concern for a buyer. Mm -hmm. Please keep in mind that basically all of those costs are going to be removed from your equity. So it's not cash up front unless there's certain repairs that have to be done and the repairman will not take it at closing time. So, I mean, the commissions, the title insurance policy, the closing costs, all of that stuff is taken out at the end from your proceeds. So you just leave in hand with your equity at the end. A couple other items that may come up as costs, not necessarily to you, but because the buyer asks you. Um, in many cases, a buyer will ask the home seller to pay for a one-year home warranty. It varies between three and $500, and there's several home warranty companies that they can choose from. Um, but in the contract, it will state how much they're asking for and whether they want you as a seller to pay for it. I honestly just suggest that every seller pay for it because it just gives the buyers comfort knowing that they can come into the home. All they have to do is call that home warranty company the first year, pay a small fee for them to come out and the item that needs fixed or replaced will be taken care of. It covers things such as plumbing, appliances, electrical, um, several components on the inside of the home. And I could send you some details on those if you'd like to know more about the home warranty. One of the other things that may become a cost to you, depending on how you and the buyer work it out, is the buyer's closing costs. In many cases, home buyers don't have the cash for the down payment and closing costs. So they have to work those closing costs into the loan. Sometimes that makes it to where a buyer offers you the full price, but then they ask for the closing costs. Uh, you can go back and either say, well, we'll pay half of it at the purchase price, or you can up it above your purchase price. And as long as it appraises, then it's okay. So it really depends case by case how you and the buyer decides to work the closing costs. Some don't need it at all. Some need a portion of it and some need it all. So again, case by case, I would just plan on potentially happen to come up with some of the closing costs for the buyers. So just keep that in mind that if home buyers do ask for closing costs, it's because they're trying to get it into the loan. Well, that gives you a general idea of how much it costs to sell a home. I hope you found it useful. And of course, if you would like a more detailed breakdown of your situation specifically, if you live in the northern part of Utah, I'd be happy to do a CMA for you and help you figure out your equity position so that you know what you can do afterwards with your money, whether it's towards a new build, buying a new home, or buying a new home and paying off some of your debts. At least you'll know where your positioning is. If you don't live in the area, I can get you in contact with an agent in your local market. We have connections throughout the U.S., so go ahead and contact me. would love to help you find that real estate agent or me to help you through the home selling process. We look forward to talking to you soon and see you in the next video. We hope you found this useful. Please go ahead and again, hit the subscribe button and the little bell and make sure you like and comment to help us boost it up. Talk to you soon. In fact, as of... Um,